Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I've not been on for a little while, so I was finishing off the end of term and then we went straight off for a weekend, a long weekend away in Paris. And that's what this haul is all about. Some things I picked up in Paris. It's not all overly French because there are some, some things that I've not seen over in the UK that you probably could buy in the UK, but I picked up anyway. So I'm going to show you what I got. There's a little French map which might get put into my journal when I get around to making a French journal, which I will. So I'm going to do one of this trip. So first of all, the sort of I'm not very Frenchy things. They had a hammer there, which you probably get in the UK, but you don't get down where I live. So I picked up a few things. Um, and I know the pound and the euro, we're not doing very well towards the euro. So, um, but what can you do? I think this was about 90 cents. Um, so I've got some gold heart stickers, but they're really cute, aren't they? So I love those for a bit of scrapbooking. Um, that's my little hammer bag here. This is what made me want to buy something. I just, I just love these notebooks with the sequins. So I had to pick this one up. As I say, not very French, these first few items, but gorgeous. And this was six euros, which sounds like quite a lot, doesn't it, for a notebook? Um, but I, I just love it. I'm going to take it to school and I'm going to be sitting there making really important uh, notes and then fiddling with the sequins. So that's what's going to happen with my cute little notebook. Mango is going to come and join in the second. I can feel this happening. Have you got a, a, a massive purpose, Mango? For those who are wondering, Mango and Bailey went to stay with my parents um, for a little bit of cat sitting. Please don't touch that whilst we were OK. So I also in him, I picked up, as you can tell, it's quite... English, but I picked it up in France. This really cute post-it note set. I just loved it for the koala because I've got um, Australian heritage and I just thought that is so cute. And that was a couple of um, euros as well. Look how sweet that is. To go with that, final one from there is some washi tape. I just had to get this washi tape because it's got, I know the cat has gone, gone crazy. So what happens in my house, like the cats are all the way. I'm going to try and open that up, but that appears to be quite firmly fastened. Look at that. And the ring-tailed lemur. And anyone who's been following my videos for quite some time might know that we have fed the lemurs at the um, zoo a number of times. And that's something that we really enjoy doing. So that was that. Um, and then there are a number of artists, loads of art shops around. This happened to be one in Montmartre, which we went to in Paris. I can't. I'm not, I can't speak French as we worked out when we were there, so I will probably ruin some of these words. But the designs were really cute by this artist. So I got a coaster um, and it's got the cute little dog doing some painting and lots of kind of um, French road names around it. So I think that's really pretty. We also got a picture. I haven't bought that one to show you because it's quite large. We're going to frame it and hang it on the wall. I actually can't remember what's in here, so this will be as exciting to me as it is to you. Oh, I forgot I bought that. That's just from, <laughs> that's a cute little key ring just from a touristy shop. I just thought, even if I don't use it as a key ring, the charms would be really cute. Just cut off um, and hanging in an album or in a craft project. So that was like a couple of euros, so not very much. Um, and then where shall we move on to? So move some of this out the way. Then um, I popped into a little stationery shop and this is a random purchase, but it was half price down to 3.47 euros. And we know I love cats. Look, it's a little cat's purse. I just think that's so adorable. I've absolutely no idea. It feels lovely as well. What I'm going to do, I think it's just going to sit in my craft room. It's just going to sit there and stare at me. And then maybe I could put some money in to contribute towards my crafty purchases. It feels lovely. It's obviously meant for a small child, but you know, it's going to me because I think it's cute. And the other thing I picked up in there in that same shop is also um, cat related. So this is a random purchase because it is a diary in French. I was sort of like, is it a good idea to get, you know, I love Simon's Cat. I'm addicted to Simon's Cat. And it was only 7 dollars It's actually quite a good price for a Simon's Cat diary. I thought, is it going to be strange to have one in French? But, you know, it's not like I don't know the days of the week in French. Um, and this one is so cute. Look at all those designs. I'm going to be sitting there in the staff meetings being like, ah, we oui. take the kids to the park on, not Dimanche, that'd be strange, wouldn't it? Mercredi. 
uh, Mango, you're causing some trouble. So I think this is gorgeous. And you can probably get this in English and you're not crazy enough to get it in French. But I was in France and I thought this might help me learn some more French words and get a bit more into it. And I just love Simon's cat. And there are so many pictures in here. So it's going to really cheer me up. Um, it's obviously 2019, 2020. And actually, um, see, this kind of diary is more useful when you're a teacher. The term time diary. So... I will switch from my current year long diary into this one. And yeah, I love it. It is random to buy something in French. I don't speak French, but love that. $7.95 as it was. Right, Mango, what do you think we should go to next? So I popped into this and I'll try and insert a picture of the shop so you can see. So I found an actual craft shop um, and got a few little bits and bobs. So first of all, I picked up this really cute, it's not overly crafty, but a really cute little notebook. And I just love the picture on the front. Look, it's a unicorn and cats in France. That's just random, isn't it? But I love that. It was 2.85 euros. You know, it's it's not cheap, but it's just gorgeous. And I know Mango's just she's doing her own thing there. I love the Eiffel Tower. Getting the Eiffel Tower was great fun. It was so cute. Oh, lovely. And then... This is not overly French. It's not French at all, really. Um, but look at that. It is a cat stapler. So it was about four euros or maybe even more than four euros. Could have even been five. But it's a cat stapler, you know, along with absolutely pointless items. This has to be up there. I mean, it looks a bit wonky, doesn't it? I don't know why the cat looks wonky. I don't know if I can oh, push it down. That looks better. So I could go along to all the children and be like, right, I'm going to staple your work with my cat stapler. I just love it. I think it's the cutest little thing that I have seen. And of course, it comes with the staples. So, yes, I know it's a cat crazy haul, but it's what you get from Coastal Crafts. What have you found there? There's something that I made. Um, so then I had to get the Paris Skyline Ruler. This was four euros, but I've seen this for six euros in other shops. And I thought, you know what? I just love a ruler. I'm a crafter. I love a ruler. And look, it's Paris. It's got the Moulin Rouge and the Eiffel Tower and the various other buildings. Poopadoo Centre, as I call it. Um, so I love it. I love that. If you are going to Paris and <laughs> you have time to run around, we literally were just going everywhere. It was non-stop um, visiting places. That's how we managed to do so much in a few days. These were in the sale to one euro forty-eight. You get a cute little dish, but they're just some sweet charms. And I thought that they kind of um, reminded me of Alice in Wonderland with a wonky clock. So I just picked those up as I was there and I was making a purchase. I don't know where the rest of the pot's gone because you've gone and chucked it somewhere, Mango. Um, and in the same light, I just picked up some beads that were 75 cents and I just thought they were cute. They really glisten because I do want to make some more. So I just thought they're really shiny and nice. Anyway, we'll put those away because it's quite hard to see. Yes, Mango. Mango's had a bit of an issue with her eyes. So she's on eye drops four times a day, aren't you, Bubba? Um, and then the other thing I picked up from the shop was a stamp. So they had a whole load of stamps, um, French stamps. And I was only narrowing over them, but I didn't really know what they all meant. I thought, you know what, they were 11 euros. So I thought I'll just go for a little small one. This one's only three euros. It says Destination Allures, which I believe is like Destination Elsewhere or something when I translated it with the bird. And I thought that would, and the cute stamps then, I thought that would look nice. Um, stamped out in my album so it was actually from Belgium but it's still in French and I just wanted to pick up a French one and just see see what they're like and that's a cute design isn't it it's like a stalk with flowers I think that'd be really pretty in case you're wondering what do they do in France for stamps so we did put um, pull into the um, French Parisian flea market so I put a little video a really quick one because it was hard to film a lot of places go no photo no photo um, but there was this gorgeous stool, this one here, and I had to take the car because I thought that's pretty in itself. And I could have bought everything on this stool in this Parisian flea market, but it was so expensive. It was all like vintage buttons and lace and feathers and flowers and just out of my price range, unfortunately. 
but just so I token had something to take home I got the smallest set of buttons and these are from I think 1910 or 1915 Parisian buttons and they're actually really cute buttons they're so thin and delicate but I probably won't use them as buttons although I do use such things but um I will get some of my vintage I have a bit of a thing for collecting vintage sewing items so that's what that will go with and I'm going to try and make a bit of a display um you see me pick up such things I think before um and also at the flea market I randomly picked up some French children's books so this was um like Mr Coastal Cross was sort of like why are you buying such things but I just think for crafting they are adorable I don't know what they say in French, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to translate it, but the story actually looks quite familiar to me. Quite a freaky little story where they met the King of the Fairies, so I vaguely remember it, but I just thought, you know, um, I don't really do junk journaling, but some kind of almost junk journaling type thing, or turning that into, I've seen people turn them into notebooks where you write in them as well. They just, it says five euros, but I paid two euros for that one, and then the same two euros for this one, and this is, um, I just love the vintage images. Music. Like, how cute are these pages? I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I feel like they will get put into something because they are so cute. And Forever Jacka. I should, like, photocopy that for the children to sing at school. I love these images. And they will get used somehow. So I was happy to put those ones up. My little purchase, because everything was quite expensive, I will tell you, at the French flea market. I mean, they were, like, antiques. They were vintage, so... Um, that's why they were a lot, but, yeah... So just in the whole touristy line, I had to pick up some postcards. So these are things that are going to go in my French, I guess, album of the trip. So I thought that one was gorgeous. A bit of a fashion Paris postcard. Look at that Mademoiselle Paris. So you think picking up postcards, not for other people, for me. And this little keychain, 50 cents, which is so tacky. They had these everywhere, but um, it's going to hang potentially from my album of the trip. And then I just love these large images these are again from like a just like a little street seller it's a lady with all the cats and the dogs that's so me and I shan't know why I mean I've seen this in those people's houses and things but they're ones I'd happily frame and have in the craft room mango hop off a second what else I've got they come in these cute little bags which will get reused somehow um in my journaling now, as you can see, I've kept loads of tickets. We went to Santa Pompidou. That's like modern art. Love it. That's the same. Where else have we been? Oh, that was a lovely place where they had ice cream covered in hard chocolate. Yummy. St. Chapelle, that's all the um, very fancy large stained glass windows. These tickets are going to look really cute inside my um, journal to reflect on the trip. This is random. I did pick this up in the Pompidou Centre. Um, it's like a, a baby's spoon. But oh no, it's for me to have my yoghurt. And because I just love it. I just think Paris, Petit Chabot. It's just it's so cute. And I do take a yoghurt every day to school. And I'm going to eat with a baby spoon now. Because I, I like to eat with a teaspoon. But I just think that's gorgeous. It was only a couple of euros. This one actually my partner picked up. It's going to go on our fridge. Well, I bought it for him. But it's going to go on our fridge. And that is um, the Pompidou Centre. He likes his modern art. This is a random purchase. I don't even know what it says, but they were selling these off like a euro in a bookstore. And it's just a blank notebook. Um, and they're always useful. And, you know, I love anything French. It's got French dogs. I don't know what that says. You can tell me what it says. If it says something rude, I apologise. But I don't know what it says. So, yeah, I had an absolutely fantastic time in Paris. I plan to go back as in I've not made any plans but I have to go back because I just everywhere you go it's beautiful everything is beautiful and I'm sure the majority of you have probably been to Paris before this was my first time I don't know why I've never been before and it's just gorgeous and in the few days we went I managed to buy all of this so if I went back again I'd probably come back with even more it'd be crazy <laughs> but I will speak to you very soon bye